Are you a breastfeeding mother who is worried about the risk of anemia? In this video, I'm going to discuss the connection between breastfeeding and anemia, as well as how you can reduce your risk. 1. What is anemia and what are the symptoms? Anemia is a condition in which the body does not have enough healthy red blood cells to carry oxygen to other organs and tissues. The most common symptoms of anemia include fatigue, shortness of breath, pale skin, dizziness, rapid heart rate, headaches, cold hands and feet, and chest pain. 2. How does breastfeeding affect your risk of developing anemia? Breastfeeding can increase the risk of developing anemia due to maternal deficiencies, especially in areas with limited food availability. As women breastfeed their infants, they lose iron and other essential nutrients, which can lead to a decrease in red blood cell production that causes anemia. This is especially true if breastfeeding mothers are not getting adequate nutrition themselves. In addition to iron deficiency, vitamin B12 deficiency and folate deficiency can also contribute to the development of anemia in those who are breastfeeding. 3. Are there any dietary changes that could reduce my risk for anemia while breastfeeding? Thus, it's important to make sure your diet includes plenty of iron-rich foods, such as beef, chicken, fish, eggs, fortified cereals and grains, potatoes, spinach, broccoli, and beans. Eating foods that are high in vitamin C can also help with the absorption of the iron from your food. Additionally, it is recommended to limit or avoid caffeine while breastfeeding if you are concerned about anemia risk. Also, remember to drink plenty of fluids throughout the day. Drinking eight eight ounce glasses of water a day will help make sure you stay hydrated and nourished for both you and your baby. If needed, seek advice from a physician or nutritionist for additional dietary recommendations for reducing anemia risk while breastfeeding. Four, are there any vitamins or supplements I should take to help prevent anemia? Yes, vitamins and supplements can help prevent anemia. Iron is especially important for preventing anemia in breastfeeding mothers. It is recommended that pregnant women take at least 27 milligrams of iron daily. However, since the body needs more iron during breastfeeding, it is suggested to increase the intake of iron up to 45 milligrams per day. Taking a prenatal vitamin with iron or adding a separate iron supplement can also be beneficial in preventing anemia. Additionally, some foods that are high in iron, such as lean red meats, fish, fortified cereals, lentils, and dark leafy greens should be included in your diet as well. Supplementing with other vitamins like beet well and folic acid may also help reduce the risk of developing anemia while breastfeeding. Talk to your doctor before taking any vitamins or supplements while breastfeeding. 5. Is it possible to become anemic even if you're not breastfeeding? Yes, anemia can develop in non-nursing mothers too. It can be caused by a number of factors including iron deficiency, vitamin deficiencies, chronic diseases such as kidney disease and diabetes, heavy menstrual bleeding, and certain medications. If you're not breastfeeding and suspect that you might be at risk for anemia, it's important to see your doctor for a blood test to check your hemoglobin levels. Treatments may include taking iron supplements or other vitamins, eliminating or limiting certain foods from your diet, or making lifestyle changes such as increasing physical activity. 6. When should I talk to a doctor about being at risk for anemia due to breastfeeding? If you have any of the signs or symptoms mentioned above, it is important to talk to your doctor as soon as possible. Your doctor can do a physical exam and take a blood sample to determine if you are anemic. They may also recommend further tests to identify any underlying causes of anemia. If your doctor diagnoses you with anemia due to breastfeeding, they will be able to provide advice on how best to manage it, including dietary changes and supplements that can help raise your iron levels. It is also important to get enough rest and make sure you're keeping up with other healthy habits that can help ward off anemia. It's also important for mothers who are breastfeeding or plan on breastfeeding in the future to speak to their doctor about possible anemia risks. Being proactive can help you take the steps necessary to prevent or manage anemia before it becomes a problem.
Seven, does continuing to breastfeed increase my chances of developing chronic long-term anemia after weaning off of breast milk? Unfortunately, the answer to this question is yes. Although breastfeeding provides essential nutrients and antibodies that can guard against infection, these benefits do not extend to preventing anemia after weaning off of breast milk. Many women experience a dip in their hemoglobin levels shortly after they stop breastfeeding, which could potentially lead to chronic or long-term anemia if left untreated. It is important for mothers who have recently stopped breastfeeding to pay close attention to any signs of anemia so that they can take steps to prevent and treat it. Additionally, eating a healthy diet with plenty of iron-rich foods can help replace lost nutrients and reduce the risk of developing anemia. Anemia is a serious health condition that can have an impact on breastfeeding mothers. If you're experiencing any of the symptoms we discussed, it's important to get tested and talk to your doctor about ways to reduce your risk. We hope this video has been helpful in understanding how anemia affects breastfeeding mothers and what steps you can take if you think it may be affecting you. Please comment below with any questions or thoughts, and remember to subscribe for more content like this.